Matt Burner here for RacingPicks.com, taking a look at two big races for Saturday, June the 20th. One of them happens to be the Grade 1 Belmont Stakes. The other happens to be a graded stakes race out in Southern California. That's the Grade 3 Las Barrera. If you're curious about the three other plays that I have laid out on RacingPicks.com for Saturday afternoon, they all happen to come from Belmont Park. You can find that video again on RacingPicks.com, the Grade 1 Acorn, the Grade 3 Wonder again, as well as a really salty New York bred N1X race going six furlongs on the the inner turf course. Let's start off in Southern California. I know maybe we're burying the lead a little bit with the Belmont Stakes, but I think you kind of can guess where I'm going to go in that race. My play of the day, though, comes out on the West Coast, and he's not going to be any kind of a giant price, but race number nine, the grade three Las Barrera, I think there's an argument or a case to be made that perhaps the best three-year-old in the country that no one is really talking about is the number one collusion illusion. He's going to be my top pick in here. He's going to be my play of the day for Saturday. I expect him to be a short price. I expect him to run very, very well in a spot like this, though. I recognize Bob Baffert has a nice runner in here in Ragtime Blues. Figures to be forwardly placed throughout, but there is some other speed in here. And the way that Collusion Illusion won in his return to the races, we hadn't seen him since the end of September of his two-year-old year. He came back in the middle of May and looked fantastic, beating older, salty runners to the tune of an 89 buyer speed figure, but more importantly, a 115 time form US rating. And when you take a look and see that the runner-up Tiger Dad, he returned to win a stakes race with a 94 buyer speed figure, it makes me think that Collusion Illusion, I'm hopeful they just keep him at one turn. Because this, to me, could potentially be a major player, not just in the three-year-old sprint races going forward. If he continues on this sort of trajectory, I could see him being a player come Breeders' Cup sprint time. The number one collusion illusion. I'm very, very bullish on this horse. Not just on Saturday, but going forward from Mark Glatt. Flavian Pratt has the mount. We'll see what he can do in the grade three Las Barrera. As far as the Belmont Stakes goes. You can find the the early preview that Andrew Champagne and I did on RacingPicks.com. Now we have the field drawn. We know where everyone's going to break from. I just I don't have real, any real interest in trying to defeat Tis the Law. I think he's the best horse in the race. I think the pace situation, he's adaptable. He can be closer. He can sit off of it. There's going to be a little bit of speed in here. Uh, Tappet to win's a very talented horse, but the presence of four left, you have to assume, is going to mean that the pace is more on the honest side, that they're going to be going a little bit. I I think Tis the Law sits that sort of three wide stalking trip, and Manny Franco says go whenever he wants, and the horse goes on and does things that he's supposed to do. He'll be odds on. He's my pick in here. It's not a sexy pick. I just think he's the best horse in the race. If you were so inclined to play some sort of an exacta or any kind of a exotic wager, I would include the number five Farmington Road underneath for Todd Pletcher. To me, he's the sort of horse that will run all day. A little bit of pace is all he needs. He doesn't have any early speed, so he's going to need that thing to kind of come back to him. I just think Farmington Road's the type of horse that if you're going to use him, he's 15 to 1 on the morning line, maybe you use him underneath second, third, fourth, whatever the case may be for your exotic wagers. So my play of the day on Saturday, race number nine at Santa Anita. The great three Las Barrera. Again, he won't be any kind of a giant price, but I love the number one collusion illusion. And out at Belmont Park, the big one, the grade one Belmont stakes the first leg in the American Triple Crown. Race number 10, I'm going to go with the captain obvious horse. The number eight is the law, but if you're so inclined to play something underneath, maybe use the number five Farmington Road. Again, the other three races I've touched on for Saturday, June the 20th. You can find that video on racingpicks.com. It includes the grade one acorn, the grade three wonder again, and that salty turf sprint for New York breads. However you play, whatever you play and wherever you play, best of luck this weekend.